Hello again everybody, welcome back to Brick and to another episode of my castle building series called The Siege of Bricks Conquest. We are now at episode 5 and we are getting closer and closer to the finale. We've got a lot of progress done in many different parts of the mock, but mostly on the brand new third base plate so the whole build got its final size. So that's what we're going to talk about today, but in a bit of a different approach. I figured that since I am building a part of a medieval village in front of the castle, we could see how it was before the siege even started. You've seen all the weaponry that will be used to storm the castle, and the whole army placement should be left until the finale, so today I'm going to show you a more peaceful scenery. But before all that, as usual a quick reminder of what the mock is all about. So this build is a part of a much bigger diorama that I am making with Edge of Bricks that will be showing a siege of a black falcon castle that he is making. If you want to see more of the castle then you should definitely check out the playlist on Edge of Bricks channel which I will link down below to see a lot more awesome details and traps that he is preparing for my troops. As for the attacking forces, I am commanding the crow army that will be marching through a village to get to the castle gates to tear it down with our battering ram. If you haven't seen the ram yet, you should check out the previous episode in which it was already fully completed and ready for action. And I know many of you would like a tutorial for it, but you have to show a bit more patience because I don't have too much time at the moment. But don't worry, it's coming sooner or later. Now back to the collab idea. Together we will form an about 2 meter long diorama that will be displayed this year at a convention. More details will be revealed in the future episodes, so you should definitely stay tuned to both of our channels. Now as for today's progress that I was able to make in the last two weeks, like I said I got a lot of work done, so let's start with the most obvious one, that is the new base plate I've added. It is already surrounded with edges from all sides, with the front made in the same way as the rest of the front that is with dark tents not work, that is working really good here in my opinion, and the other side made with layers of rock, dirt and grass just like I did on the right side of the mock where my part will be connected to the castle that Edge of Bricks is making. As for the terrain on the base plate, I managed to make a fair part of it, outlined the most important elements and made the foundations of the house that I will make here which we will talk about more later in the video. First let's talk about the surroundings, so in the back I roughly made the pig pen under the apple tree and a couple of crop beds with some crops growing on them. The path around those will be of course covered with one more layer of tiles, plates and dots to give it more details and even the ground level, but for now you get the idea. As for the ground itself, I will be using a similar technique that I used on the sheep pen, but unfortunately I wasn't able to finish it because I've ran out of green wedge plates. Again. But these were already ordered and should arrive any day now, so it's just a matter of time before I finish the groundwork. One more thing I want to add here, besides of course those green wedges, is some kind of a small fence around the pig pen. I don't have an idea for it yet, so if you have some suggestions, write them down in the comments. Or I'll just use the flex technique like around the sheep pen, we'll see. Besides the basic ground shaping and those elements we talked about, I also made a foundation for the house and a little path going from the place that the door will be to the road you already know from the previous episodes. I think it came out pretty good and it connects to the road quite naturally, so it doesn't bother the eye even though it's made in a bit of a different technique than the road itself. And since we're talking about the road, here was the most difficult element of the whole progress in this episode. Because of the curving of the road using several segments made with 2x3 wedge plates, the last segment was almost impossible to make even on the edge. So what I've done here was making it a bit sloping towards the front and to the side. As you can see the whole thing is sloping to the left with a difference of one plate thickness and more or less the same in depth. And this is the best I could do, making the wedge platform 
and connecting it with a single mixel joint from the bottom. Because of that I was able to finish it quite good but still leaving a small gap in the front, but unfortunately that's something I'll have to live with. Overall I think I can't complain and I can finally consider the road to be finished completely. So now we have the base established, the main elements outlined on the ground, the road and the path to the house finished and all I have to do is fill this big hole in the front. So here I was thinking I will make a little spot for the cow to gaze on the left and a well on the right and that should be enough for this part to look complete. And now I can finally start building the house for which I am very excited because I just love making medieval buildings. The plan is to have a house two stories high with the bottom floor made with stone and the upper floor made with a half timbered wall with a small portion of it overhanging the ground and supported by these two wooden beams made from a couple of brown crates. As for the roof, I haven't really got a plan for it yet, so I guess I will build it as it goes, but for now let's just focus on the bottom floor. But for that we'll have to make some room on the table, so first let's disconnect the third base plate so that you can see how it's actually connected and how the sloping edge of the road works. And to make it even easier to work on, let's go a step further, take down the house foundation since we don't need the whole surroundings to build the house and let's start building the walls. I think one wall should be enough to play around with textures and establish the style of the building, so let's start making it in a short time lapse and we'll see how it goes. As you can see I decided to make the wall two bricks thick, which in my opinion looks better and gives me an opportunity to play with the textures a little more and I think it came out really nice. 
Now all I have to do is make the other two walls with that technique since I want to have the back of the house open to make some visible interiors, but that will be some work for the next episode. Oh, and actually I should switch this wall to the other side because here I'm going to make a fireplace with a stone chimney going all the way to the top of the house, so I guess I started the whole thing wrong. Ok, so now that we have that in place, let's connect the third base plate to the rest of the mock and see how it looks in the end. And honestly, I am very happy of how the mock is starting to look. All of the details are starting to work very well together and I just can't wait to get my new parts and work on the build some more. But for that you'll have to wait until the next episode and probably the one after that, because I don't think I'll be able to do everything in just 2 or 3 weeks so that we can have the finale by the next episode. Besides, I really don't want to rush it. I still have a lot of details to work on and I'm not under that much time pressure so I prefer to take my time with this build and make it as perfect as possible. So guys, what do you think about the progress I've made since the last episode? Are you liking what my part of the collab is looking like? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Of course, if you have some ideas on what I could add to the mock or improve some of the elements I already did, as always I am open to your suggestions. And as usual, be sure to smack that like button if you enjoy what you just saw and consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all the builds I make. Oh, and a friendly reminder that I am hosting a castle mock contest in which there is still a couple of weeks left to build, so if you're interested, check out the video showing up on the right. But for today, we are done here, so I will see you all in the next episode, and until then guys, stay safe and keep it brickin'.